Well, welcome to the final session of the Equip Discipleship Training. Hey, listen, you made it. And I hope that through these nine sessions that you have found great insight. I hope you found a great resource, but I also hope that you feel encouraged and empowered to be able to actually do this. Remember, we talked in the very first session about what are the hesitations of people doing discipleship? And one of the biggest excuses is, I just don't know how to do it. I don't know what discipleship is. I don't know how to actually go make disciples. I, I understand the why. Uh, most people understand why we're supposed to do it. Well, because Jesus told us to do it. But a lot of people don't have the tools to do it. And I'm excited that you took this journey with us. And my prayer for you is that you are now better equipped at understanding the behaviors of a disciple and actually how to do this with other people. And so we're going to put it all together here in a quick final session to basically mobilize you to actually get out of here and go do this. The thing we don't want is for you to go through these nine sessions and say, wow, those were good sessions, and then just kind of move on to something else. No, no, no. As we talked last week, we were empowered to go. In the last session, session eight, we talked about empowered to go. The Holy Spirit is with you to actually go do this. So then how do we do this? How are we mobilized? Well, discipleship revolves around leadership. And in a sense, it's learning how to do this so that you can actually take somebody through this material and show them how to do that. John Maxwell has a great quote that's very true where he says, everything rises and falls on leadership. And that is very true. Whether that's in our personal life or that's in our ministry, if that's in our family, everything will rise and lower to the quality of the leadership we have. And oftentimes leadership revolves around confidence. My prayer for you is that you are confident in this material that you can then take somebody through this with you in order to multiply them into other disciples. But it requires health and it requires balance. I think you've probably heard this and saw the theme all the way through this, that at the end of it, we want you to be healthy and balanced. We believe that a fully devoted follower of Jesus is somebody who is healthy and balanced. And you're balanced because we have the behaviors of a disciple, connect, grow, serve, pray, and give, that are active in our everyday life. And that's the one side that we keep talking about. The other side, though, is how do we actually go and do this? And that's what I want to spend time here. First of all, there's a couple mindsets that have to happen. The mindset is an ownership mindset. It's a reward and challenge mindset. And it is an action and mobilized mindset. Those mindsets are critical to actually go and do this. Listen, you got to own it. Your, your mindset has to be that, that this is my commission. Jesus called me to go make disciples. We have to own this together. Every believer out there has to own the Great Commission. There's great reward and there's great challenge. You just got to get your mind around that. You will have times in discipleship where it will be so rewarding. And you will have times where it will be very challenging. You have times where people will say yes and they'll journey with you and then they just disappear and you don't even hear from them again. You have times where you are challenged with questions and challenged with the realities of culture and the world around us. And the other mindset is it's got to be an action and mobilized mindset. The mindset of discipleship is proactive. It's intentional. It is action-based. It's journeying with somebody. That is action. It's not just sitting around waiting. No, no, it's actually going and doing what we're called to do. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 and 2, it says, You then, my child, be strengthened by the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And I want you to hear verse 2. This is the calling. And what you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses and trust to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. And that's kind of the purpose of this. We just spent eight full sessions teaching how to do this so that you will actually be able to take this and go do it. We need the Holy Spirit to guide us in this. Don't go into discipleship without inviting the Holy Spirit. Let him guide you in this. So here we go. How do we actually take what we learned and multiply it to somebody else? Step number one, pray and identify people. Before you do anything, spend time praying right now Holy Spirit, who have you put in my life that I can go and I can invite? I would encourage you to form quads, you plus three other people. And maybe it's not a quad, maybe it's two people or one person, whatever it is, I would keep it to around three to four people because you wanna be able to spend time in talking. So who is one, two, or three people that you can invite on your discipleship journey with you? But step one, 
has to be praying and allowing the Holy Spirit to help identify people. I promise you that there are people right now in your life that need this and are open to it. So prayerfully consider who they may be. Step number two is the meet and the invite. This is kind of the nervous part. This is kind of the part almost as if you're uh, asking somebody out or somebody to marry you. There's that tension of, well, I hope they say yes. This is kind of that, that point in this relationship where you've prayed and the Lord's put somebody on your heart. And so you invite them. And the way that I did it, and I do it, and I'll, I'll invite them to either breakfast or lunch. And we'll sit down and we'll just kind of talk. And I'll invite them to join me in this journey and I'll tell them the why. This is why I think you need to do this with me. This is why I want to journey with you in this. Because some of the questions might be, well, why me? Uh, I, I don't know how to do this. Uh, I feel honored, but why, why did you pick me? And to be very honest, hey, the Lord just put you on my heart, and I believe that you are ready and able to do this. So pray and identify somebody. Meet with them and invite them. Don't just do it over a text message or an email. Actually, go meet with somebody and talk to them. The third step is in that same conversation, you have to set clear expectations. So I would suggest this. Remember, the goal of this is to make disciples who make disciples. The goal is to train somebody not only what discipleship is, but to actually train them how to actually do this in the meantime, in the process. So the clear expectation is I want to invite you to join me on this discipleship journey. And the hope and the desire is that you will then go do this for somebody else. That's the simple ask. Don't water it down. Don't bait and switch right up front. Hey, listen, if you're not interested in doing this for somebody else, then let's not do this right now. Let's come back to it. I'll, 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 I'll give you some time. Maybe you're not ready yet. Maybe you're busy right now. Maybe there's other things happening. But don't go into this with the mindset that all we're going to do is a Bible study. And that's it. Because that's historically what we do. We just kind of do Bible studies, talk about it, but then never do anything with it. The challenge and the ask and the expectation is I'm going to spend time with you and you're going to go do this for somebody else, which leads to the fourth step, which is set the expectation in timing. When I do this, we meet once a month for nine months to a year. So we take at minimum nine months and it could take a year and we meet one time a month and I meet with my quad together. And it's an opportunity. And basically what we do is we go through the sessions. The reason why we put the equipped discipleship training together is I would encourage you use that as your leverage, as your resource, as your material for discipleship, because you now know how to do it. You've read through the material. You've watched these videos. We've got podcasts available. We've preached on it. Those sermons are archived. You're in small group together, doing this together. So use this material as just as we did it with you. We walked you through session one, all the way through session nine, and now we're helping you get out the door and actually go do this. Of course, there's all sorts of discipleship material out there. Uh, you can use whatever you want, but this is what you know. I would start with this. You can always add something to it, but set the expectation. You're going to multiply. The next expectation is we're going to meet once a month. You can do more. I wouldn't do less. The fifth step is to really clearly understand that you have been equipped, you've been released, and you've been mobilized. So the goal of this in the steps of Simple Beginnings is I'm going to equip you, I'm going to release you, and mobilize you to go. So the equipping part are the sessions. Then there's the releasing part to prayerfully consider who they would then want to take through this. And then you help mobilize them to go. And the last and final step on your part is you become their coach. That's what you do. You coach them. You don't just drop them. You don't say, hey, it was great spending nine months to a year with you. Never talk to me again. You're on your own. No, no. It's We spent nine months to a year together. You're going to go do this for other people. And I'm going to coach you. I'm going to cheerlead you. If you have any questions, if you run into anything you need, you call me. And I'm going to check in with you about every so often. And we're just going to keep tabs and see how you're doing. Well, hey, here we go. Session nine is now done. My prayer for you is that you have been equipped in what discipleship is. You've been equipped in the five behaviors of a discipleship. You understand that you are empowered to go, and we are now releasing you and mobilizing you to go. We're praying for you. We can't wait to see the results of a bunch of people like us going out and making disciples who make disciples.